Hi and welcome to Math Together. In this lesson I'll be focusing on question number 13. Write down the three inequalities that define the shaded region. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to label each of the three lines. So this is A, B and C. What we need to do next is to identify the equation of the line for A, B and C. Now let's start off with line A. The equation of line A is y equals minus 2. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. Now let's have a look at line B. We need to identify the equation of a line for line B. To work out the equation of the line for line B, we need to select two points on the graph. First point I'm going to select is 2 and 2. And the second point is negative 2 and 0. So what I'm going to do is work out the gradient for line B. So let's write this down. B, two points selected are 2 and 2. And minus 2 and 0. Now to work out the gradient of any line, we're going to be using this equation. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now I'm going to label each point. So this is my x1 y1, this is x2, and this is y2. Now I'm going to substitute all these points into this equation to work out the gradient. So the gradient is y2 is 0, y1 is 2 minus 2 over x2, x2 is negative 2, minus uh, x1, x1 is 2. So we have 0 minus 2 is minus 2 over negative 2 minus negative uh, Sorry, negative 2 minus 2, which is minus 4. Minus 2 over minus 4 is positive a half. Okay, so therefore the gradient is a half. Now we know that the line crosses the y-intercept at positive 1. Therefore, the equation of line for b is y equals a half x plus 1. So this is equation of the line B. Now, equation of the line C is y equals x. Once we have identified the equations of the line, we need to create three inequalities that satisfy the shaded region. To produce three inequalities, what we need to do is to have a test point. Okay, so first of all, let me just uh, write out the three equations of the line. So A was y equals 
minus 2, b was y equals half x plus 1 and c was y equals x. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select test points to help me identify the inequalities and whether whether or not they satisfy each of the equations of the line. So I'm going to, I'm going to write TP as my test point. Now the first test point I'm going to select is 0 minus 1. X being 0 and Y being minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute negative 1 into the A equation. So we have minus 1 equals minus 2. Now at this point we need to decide whether the inequality is going to be greater than or less than. So we're going to replace the equal sign with an inequality. Okay, so the first inequality that I'm going to select is less than. So minus 1 less than minus 2. Okay, and now at this point you need to ask yourself this question. Is minus 1 less than minus 2? No, it's not. Because clearly minus 1 is greater than minus 2. So minus 1 greater than minus 2. Is minus 1 greater than minus 2? Yes, it is. Therefore, the equation of the line is y greater than minus 2. Now I'm going to use the same procedures to work out the inequality for equation B. The test point is 0 and minus 1. x being 0 and y being minus 1. So minus 1 equals a half open brackets 0 close brackets plus 1. 0 times minus 1 equals 0 plus the 1, 1 minus 1. Now at this point I'm going to replace the equal sign with either greater than or less than. So let's try greater than. Is minus 1 greater than 1? No it's not. Now I'm going to replace the greater than with less than. Minus 1 less than 1. Is minus 1 less than 1? Yes, it is. So therefore, the inequality for line B is y less than a half x plus 1. Now let's have a look at line C. Again, my test point, I'm going to select... minus 2 and minus 1. Okay, so y equals x. Now minus 2 is x and minus 1 is y. So I'm going to substitute these values into this equation. So minus 1 equals minus 2. Now I'm going to replace the equal sign with either greater than or less than. I'm going to start off by replacing it with less than. Minus 1 less than 2. Now at this point you need to ask yourself this question. 
is minus 1 less than mi minus 2? No, it's not. Okay. Going to replace the less than sign with greater than. Minus 1 greater than minus 2. Is minus 1 greater than minus 2? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to replace the equal sign in equation number, uh, line of equation C with greater than. So it's y greater than x. So I have now created three inequalities that satisfy the shaded region. So these are your three answers. y greater than minus 2. y less than a half x plus 1. And y greater than x. Thank you for watching.